So today we're going to be talking about why your locks are thinning. This is a common thing that so many people complain about. And I just want to tell you guys here, there are ways to prevent your locks from thinning. And if you're interested in seeing what those ways are, keep on watching. Hey guys, it's your girl So Fine. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. And if you are not, you already know what it is. Let's get into this video. All right. So the first thing I want to mention for why your locks are thinning is because you are dyeing your hair way too much. Um, dyeing your hair, bleaching your hair, like lightening your hair takes out so many nutrients and so much out of your hair for it to become lighter. Like those chemicals are damaging. And those the damage isn't gonna happen that one time that you lightened your hair or dyed your hair like it's gonna happen over time it's a process and the more and more you dye the more and more you lighten the more and more your hair gets drier the more and more your hair gets brittle the more and more your hair is just not gonna flourish in the way that it needs to be it's not gonna get the nourish nourishment that it needs um and the end result is it's so it's gonna thin out until it eventually breaks off so all in all to say limit the amount of processing you're doing to your hair um, if you really need the hair color, like I know some people just need the hair color, henna. Henna is a much lighter and much safer way for you to dye your hair and add that color that you need. It may not be the bright oranges and blues and whatever that you may want, but you can find your, like, your burgundies, your browns, and your blacks, like those kind of colors. Like if those are colors that you need, then you can do so with henna. Henna is definitely way more safer. And a lot of things is... Um, and the main thing, like a lot of the times, the part where your hair is breaking off is usually like from the middle to down to the end. These, like the, the further down the lock you go is the oldest part of your hair. So the oldest part of your hair is the more fragile, the more you need to care, take care of it because it's old. What do you do when you get older? You get more frail, you get more fragile, you need more, more care and more support as you get older. Same thing is for our hair. We need to care for our ends of our hair a lot more than maybe the root because the root is always going to be stimulated and growing. The ends of the hair is where it's the dead hair is it's not growing anymore all right so the second reason why your locks are thinning is because you're putting way too many products in your hair like literally putting all the gels all the souffles all the mousses and everything just the edge control i mean a lot of people don't like to talk about but edge control is also a culprit like we can do our edges as long as you wash that part off like every two or three days or so if you need to like if you're doing your edges every day wash your hair every day wash the edges at least because that also calls build up in your hair edges and your hairline and everything so just being careful with that but otherwise putting a lot of the gel a lot of the products in our locks was going to make our hair thin because a lot of times these products have chemicals in it we don't know what kind of reaction is going to do to our hair and it's just better to be safe than sorry so remember we're not loose natural so because our loose natural peers can put chemicals in the hair put products in the hair and wash it out we can't do that the whatever we put in our hair is embedded in our hair like it's not coming out like I mean, you may try to squeeze it out and try to pick it out but all you're going to do is cause more damage to your locks so just prevent it all together and just don't put so many products in your hair um I have a video coming up after this about how oils, about the amount of oils that you put in your hair, what kind of oils you put in your hair, and how many. Like, literally, so many people put so many products, so many oils in their hair. All you really need is just two, but that video will be coming after this video. So, just keep on watching. Keep an eye out for that one as well. But, minimize the products. Minimize all the things that you put in your hair. Like, I never understood why we would go from a loose natural to locks and still have the same amount of products. The whole purpose of, well, at least for myself, the whole purpose of me having locks is to simplify my life. It's so I don't have to use as many products. So I don't have to save. So I don't have to spend as much money on products or hair care as much as I do. As, as much as I did before in the past. Now, literally, I have one shampoo, one oil, a spray bottle with water, and I'm good to go. This is all the hair care I need. I probably need some rubber bands if I want to do some two-strand twists. Um, maybe some beads if I want to decorate my hair. But otherwise, I'm not using a whole bunch of products because it's not necessary it's really not necessary so minimize your products in your hair and I will prevent you from having your locks thin out moral threats okay number three is tight hairstyles in my in so many videos I tell you guys tight hairstyles is a no-go if you are going to style your hair make sure it is loose it is not too tight like even this ponytail I'm in, I have I can easily just put my finger through and I'm not even tugging that much. And you can even tell this space. I did not 
take it and twist it again to put another one because then that will definitely be way too tight i just have it around my head once and that's it like i don't do any tight hairstyles if i even do it in a ponytail like i usually like to have my hair down but otherwise if i know i need to be somewhere where my hair can't be in my face or on my shoulders i'm gonna put it up and even if, if even if i do i'm speaking too fast even if i do I just put a rubber band and it's, it's just in one loop. I don't double it, tie it, put another one. Like, that's it. Like, no tight hairstyles. I don't even like the tension. The tension's not good on either your edges. That'll cause thinning on the edges on the hairline. So not too many tight hairstyles. But yeah, I'm going to reiterate this. Tight hairstyles is a no-go. That's the number one culprit. Literally. No-go. Okay, so in addition to the ponytails, if your hair is not long enough to be in a ponytail... Please do not stretch your hair to get into a ponytail. Because when your hair is like maybe, I don't know, you can try this short. And you try to push it into the ponytail. Your hair now, if it's this length, is now going to be way longer than it needs to be. And when your hair is stretched like that, it doesn't recoil. Your hair needs, needs that natural recoiling. And if your hair is pulled into a ponytail, it's not going to recoil the need it needs to. And that will also cause thinning because the hair is just stretched and it never goes back. It's like a rubber band. Once you stretch it so much, it's hard for it to go back. Like anything elastic, if you wear it out too much, it's going to wear out and it's going to break. It is not going to snap back the way it needs to. Yes, your hair will be a little bit longer, but it also fall off a little faster. It will be a lot thinner and it won't stay on. It won't be as thick. So do not stretch your hair. If your hair is in a ponytail, if your hair is not able to get into a ponytail, maybe doing a smaller ponytail, like maybe space buns, or even just leaving your hair alone. Just don't even do the ponytail. If you need to get your hair out the way, do a head wrap. Um, if you're a guy, put a, 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 a do-rag, do something. Or what's it called? I have a, a sock, a sock cap that I put on. I can also link that down below for you guys. That's something that you need for your hair to keep it out of the way. And if you need to keep it up, um, but yeah, stretching your hair in ponytail or in different styles will also cause thinning because your hair is not recoiling the way it needs to. Alright, number four, retwisting. Retwisting your hair too tightly and too often. I'm a broken record with this. I retwist my hair every two months. Two months. I wait two months in between my retwist. If you can't wait two months, try a month first and then once you can do it a month try to extend it to six weeks try to go as long as you can without retwisting so that your hair can get that time to grow so that your hair so that you can actually get some new growth in between where your scalp where your roots is and where the next where the lock ended from the last time you retwisted give yourself that time it also helps your hair to it's not you're not really going into free form because it's not over like a long period of time like two months is a decent amount of time you don't have to do too much like i said you can do a month six weeks and then eventually try to go to two months if you want to do more you can but you should know your hair don't wait too long or don't do it too soon for you to lock to do, do your retwist um yeah and if it's too tight if you're able to see that bumpiness in your scalp from when your hair is when your hair is parted your hair is way too tight if you can see like the what is that called you can see the bulbs of your hair strands your hair is way too tight way too tight like please just I know we all like to nice slick parts and everything looking nice and neat but yeah like <sighs> health is better than and then is better than vanity this is one of those things where I would rather risk it looking neat than for my hair to be for my hair to be nice and neat like I don't I mean I would rather risk my hair being neat. I would rather risk my hair being neat than for it to be like really thinning and like not looking, not being up to par the way I want it to be. Like I retwist my hair. I also link a video of that of how I retwist my hair. I do not use any combs and I only use oil. I don't use any gels. I don't use any other products. I use one shampoo, like no conditioner. Like this is all the things that I do. Um, I have a whole playlist of my lock journey so this is everything all of these videos and all this information is on that playlist as well um but yeah less is more when you have locks less is more okay so the next one is a bit like controversial because i have seen many people do this and that is um adding braids over your locks or even adding locks over your locks like um I really I I understand 
that a lot of people want to do that and try it out because it's different you want to try versatility but once again it's also it's, it should be health over vanity um adding the hair to your locks one you're wearing your hair down so that's similar to when you're stretching your hair to get into ponytails the hair is getting weighed down and once again it is not recoiling the way it needs to go back up it is not recoiling so when you wet your hair normally it's supposed to drop because of the weight and then recoil if your hair is weighed down with too much hair it will definitely not recoil because it's way too heavy so that will also cause thinning because like i said once it's recoil once it's not recoiling it's just going to stay stretched like a rubber band and for it to snap back it's going to take a lot more well a rubber band is not a good example what is something like all right so like those um elastic bands on your pants if you stretch them out too much it's going to be really hard for it to snap right back so and then it's just loose and then it's just it, your pants gonna fall so that's the example i want to give you guys but um yeah i get it it's a protective style but it makes no sense because locks is already a protective style so why are you putting a protective style over your protective style already i don't get it i really don't get it but um yeah it's better to be safe than sorry do not put the braids, do not put the locks, do not put the extra hair over your hair if you can prevent it. Like if your hair is not long enough, I can get it. You want to do extensions. Um, yeah, this is just a this is a topic that I, I just, I don't know. I just feel like it's not necessary. I would say if you want to do a protective style, um, try wigs. Um, our girl ha um, Haley and Chloe been rocking wigs over their, their long locks. So I know it may be expensive, but find a way. If you can do those big curly hairs, definitely would help to hide the locks and like the, the big humps or whatever in your hair. But yeah, if you really need a protective style, I would suggest doing a wig. Just put your hair back in a ponytail or braid it back really nicely and neatly and then throw that wig over it. Honestly, like we need to, we can still look good, but we still need our health. We need the health of our hair. And last but not least, your locks are thinning because you simply don't have a healthy lifestyle. So you're not drinking enough water. You're not exercising. You're not taking your necessary vitamins. Like these are all things that we need. Like I, we are plants. We need water. We need nutrients. We need sunlight. We need all of that stuff. So think of your body as a plant. Your body grows from the inside out. Whatever you put in will help and flourish whatever comes out of your body. Whether that's your hair, your skin, your nails, like all of that stuff. Is important to take care of your body so guys these are just a couple of things that came to mind when I thought about why your locks are thinning um, I'm sure there are many 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 more like there are medical reasons there are just the climate that you live in like there are different so many different reasons as to why your locks are thinning um if you guys know of any more you can put them down in the comments and we can also talk about them and share them um any other comments you i mean i know i'm gonna get some somebody's gonna say something about the the braids over the locks i'm just waiting you guys can tell me because I, I don't understand it like you have locks for a reason locks are very versatile but to each their own if you put your braids over your locks if you don't do it as often then maybe like i know that that's a occurring thing that like, can cause thinning but if you do it once or twice i mean go ahead try your style but i just feel like for those the, for those that continuously do it over and over and over that is where the thinning will happen but yeah, if you have any more ideas on why locks could be thinning whether it's your locks or someone else that you know comment them down below share them with everyone else um give me a thumbs up if you like this content if there's anything else that you guys want me to make a video on please comment those down below as well um subscribe if you're not already i have a whole playlist of everything of my routines of my hair i'm also an occupational therapist so you guys can catch up on that as well i do some vlogs i travel um so yeah if you're interested in anything that i have on my page subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video stay cute and stay fine bye guys